Greetings and salutations, dear viewers. Welcome to another nerd smashing episode of The Anti Viewer! <laughs> Perhaps you will agree with me when I say that the anime industry has certainly produced some of the most groundbreaking characters since Stanley and Jack Kirby first brought to life the legends of Marvel upon their blessed sheets. <laughs> Yes, the halls of manga have seen many a timeless hero and heroine brought to life in front of the fans. I said many timeless heroes and heroines! That doesn't count! Well, he is a pussy, but no! I feel the misunderstanding has surfaced between us. Let us remedy that, shall we? <laughs> From that little escapade, you've probably guessed that the anime industry is a chauvinistic one to say the least. Female characters are nowhere near as prolific as their shonen man-gods that stand at its peak. I shall not enter into a debate on how women are portrayed in anime, because that fool the anime overviewer has already touched upon the subject. No, I am not going there. But where I am headed is a much more pleasing destination. That's right, in an effort to educate you witless monkeys, I have decided to honor the pinnacle of anime females. This is the top 9 greatest animated women! Number 9, Chisame Hasegawa from Negima. Here's a fun fact for you. This character's personality is actually half of another of Ken Akamatsu's girls, Naru Naru Segawa from Lavina. I won't dig into Naru because I'm saving her for another review in another day. Regardless, Hasegawa inherited the serious, hard-working, down-to-earth and mild bipolarity that defined her predecessor. However, this is taken to a new and glorious level in Negima. She is rational in a world where magic, aliens, and upskirt shots run rampant, looking at everything with a measured reason and trying to make sense of the often extraordinary circumstances she and the rest of Negi's students must face. I love this about her. She refuses to abandon her logic and skeptical views no matter the cost. Even when faced with the choice of going with the flow, she won't have any of it! She makes sure to analyze and weigh every decision and development Negi's party are involved in often spotting things that the others, in their typical shonen nonchalance, would miss. Her organized way of thinking and genuine care for the child teacher, as well as sharp mind and surprising courage, make her a commendable, and I think, superior sister figure for Nei, whom has repeatedly expressed his admiration for her. I'll admit that Asuna, Naru's other inheritor, is good, but Hasegawa is a hundred times better. Granted, she has unwillingly embraced a world of magic and mayhem, but not even that can spoil the rational, strong-willed, and downright admirable female that is Chisame Hasegawa! Number 8. Aoi no Gami from Zetai Karen Children. Some of you may be surprised that I didn't include the other two protagonists, Shiho and Aya Hidan- uh, I, I mean Kaoru. And while it's certainly true that these three are by far the best and to my knowledge the first, female shonen leads, this bespectacled cutie is by far my favorite. Aoi is the straight man of the children, a more normal middleman between her rather eccentric partners, and does a fine job tempering their natures with her respectable and sober personality. What makes Aoi stand out in my eye is that compared to most other females in anime, she acts very much like how a normal human would, albeit one who can teleport. And unlike stone-faced brooders or ditzy cupcakes, Aoi is a much more realistic and therefore three-dimensional character. But it doesn't stop there, oh no. Aoi is not only very funny with her maiden-like disposition, but also a hard worker and a tough, loyal friend, impressing even the hearts of old psychic pedophiles with her good nature and unflinching optimism. They are maybe three absolutely lovely children, but to me, Aoi Nogami is absolutely the loveliest. Number 7. Hime Onizuka from Sket Dance. Himeko, as she is commonly known, represents a departure from your traditional school life heroine in a number of ways. First of all, she is a former delinquent and thus perfectly capable of defending herself. This status allows Himeko to be completely immune to the scourge that is the damsel in distress syndrome. If anything, she is usually the one saving her fellow misfits, Bosun and Switch. 
Secondly, Himeko is a rarity in that she is the straight man of the trio, despite her also being the shonen muscle, consistently delivering the punchlines to jokes and pointing out just how absurd a situation is, unintentionally rendering it even more hilarious than it already was. But beyond this, you also have a caring, friendly, and loyal individual who is always ready to stand up for the weak and oppressed, and, despite her manifest annoyance of both Switch and Bosun, the two can always count on the Onihime, or Demon Princess, to be there for them. Strong in body, stronger in mind, and strongest in heart, Himeko is the beautiful blonde buddy whose mighty hockey stick and disgusting lollipop help make the Sketan and anime in general that much greater. Number 6. Jessie from Pokemon! Ah, Jessie. She is an arrogant, selfish, vain, petty, self-absorbed, and egotistical bitch, and God bless her a thousand times over for it! Jessie, alongside her inseparable cohorts, James and Meowth, provides the comic relief and horrible puns that are the stuff of legend, and have put Pokémon on the anime map. She specifically shines because of her drama-laced actions and constant need to remind everyone just how much of a radiant queen she is. The world is simply too small for Jessie, who does not miss a single chance to try and ruin the day for Ash and crew. Yet even her character is fleshed out. More than a few episodes recount her rather difficult past and make her considerably more deep than she first appears. It is always an achievement when a comic relief character has any sort of emotional depth, and one that Jessie pulls off quite nicely. A major part of her brilliance is the voice behind her. It is provided by none other than Megumi Hayashibara, one of the greatest seiyuu of all time. Only the voice of fellow egotistical basket case Lena Inverse could do justice to Jessie. But even her English voice actresses are great. Rachel Lillis, and more recently Michelle Knotts, give the character that stuck-up and oh-so-superior voice that many of us remember to this very day. Jessie is so great that even the archetype to which she belongs to has occasionally been referred to as the Jessie character. She set the standard for comic relief bitch characters everywhere. Hilarious, surprisingly deep, and always in her own egotistical world, Team Rocket could never blast off again without good old Jessie along for the ride. 